my gosh, what are you guys doing in my Ikea Billy bookcase? What are you doing up there? Actually, you guys probably know exactly why you are here because today we are going to be doing my apartment makeover for Christmas. This is a video that I look forward to every single year and I'm so excited to be doing it again this year, especially this year because I actually splurged. I went out and got a bunch of new Christmas decor this year. I've had the same exact stuff since I've been in college, like same tree, all the same ornaments, all the same decorations. Everything has always been the same. And this year I really wanted to go ahead and switch it up a little bit, get you guys inspired, get myself inspired for Christmas as well. And I'm going for a non-traditional kind of metallic, rusty, kind of distressed color palette, which I'm really excited about. And you guys are actually going to be along for the entire journey, of course. But we have so much to do in today's video. The apartment is currently very fall themed, so I definitely need to get down some of the fall decor, which I'm kind of sad about because I love all of it so much. But we are ready for those Christmas lights and that greenery. I'm very, very excited. So I actually am kind of thinking in here, you guys, the first thing I might want to do is actually reorient my sofas, which sounds weird. They're in an L shape, which is how you know it's supposed to be. But I have this idea in my head that I kind of want to try out. So that's kind of the first thing I want to do. And then we can bring in the Christmas tree. I got a new one too. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. This is the orientation that I have been living with and working with for probably around a year and a half now, and I love it. I really like it because we do watch all of the TV primarily out here, so it's nice to have, you know, the couch facing the TV, even though a lot of people don't like that it doesn't face the fireplace, but you guys, like, it's not functioning and it's too high to put the TV up there, so that's why I've always oriented it this way. But the thing is, is if I orient it this way, the Christmas tree will just kind of be hidden in the back corner there. So I had this crazy idea to go ahead and flip the rug entirely kind of like this, like 90 degrees, and then actually use one of the couches on the left side, one of the couches on the right side, because they disconnect right here, and I have this feeling it can create like an asymmetrical, just like very unique looking couch, but it also might look completely awful. So let's start off by trying maybe a new orientation in here and seeing what it looks like. So here is my crazy idea, and I kind of like it. For the first hour, because I've been sitting on this for about an hour, I didn't like it, and then I FaceTimed every single person I knew, and they liked it, so I think I'm in the clear. And once I stood back and saw it from here, I actually really did like it, and I have a ton of ideas. So basically, how I reoriented this is I flipped the rug 90 degrees, and I added the couches on either side. The coffee table is now in the middle, as you guys can see, and I added the chair here in front of the fireplace, which basically creates a lot of fluid kind of like movement in the entire living room. I like that nothing seems blocked off now because before we did have a lot that was blocked off in terms of the backing of the couch. There was this big open area here that you really couldn't walk around, but now we have a little bit more of uh, this more formal look, which I quite like, and I've never done anything like this before, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this layout for the time being, and if anything changes, I might go ahead and change it back, but I actually am really liking this so far. The tree has been assembled and I am just in love. I am so happy with this purchase. I got this on Terrain, you guys. It was a little bit of a splurge. I believe it was around $400 for the tree, which is quite a bit, especially for a sparse one like this. However, I can tell you guys I'm gonna have this for a long time because the quality is incredible. I love it. I also did pay for express one day shipping, so that added to the price. Normally I wouldn't do something like that, but I did need it pretty last minute and I'm very, very happy with this. Look how cute it is. I actually ended up inverting my tree Color. So my tree color normally goes the other way. This is the one I've been using the last couple years. So I inverted it upright to make it almost look like a basket. And the lights are currently on. They're on a setting. There's actually a few different settings, which is nice. And they kind of flicker in and out, which is fun. So they're gonna flicker out in a second there and then they pop back on. I cannot wait to share with you guys the tree at nighttime though, because I feel like it's gonna be really magical. I feel like the whole living room now gets a taste of the tree. Whereas before it would have just been hidden in the back corner. The ornament selection this year is pretty insane. I'm so 
excited about these. I actually DIY'd, I think, about half of them. These ones over here are from my online shop. Look how cute, these antique brass ornaments. And then I grabbed these ones. They're hand-painted little angel musicians, and I just think that they're adorable. So I added those. I DIY'd these bells on my channel, the antique brass bells. And then I also DIY'd all of these ornaments you see here, this really cool kind of tortoise one, lots of metallic tones just to go back to the other ornaments. I picked these ones up at Aldic this year, and these ones are from Home Goods. I got these little ornament hangers here, which are silver, and I think that the silver mixed with all these warm tones will be a fun play of kind of mixed metals. So that's what I'm going for. I'm gonna start decorating up the tree, you guys, and we're gonna see it come to life. When it came to decorating this really sparse tree, something I did was actually add larger ornaments towards the inside of the tree, towards the base of it, and then adding my smaller ornaments towards the outside because you're really able to see into the tree. So I like how that kind of gives a 3D effect and it makes the tree look a lot more full in the end. Until I get some moss, I'm gonna go ahead and just add this purple throw blanket over the top of the stand inside of the basket there just to kind of hide it and cover it up. I feel like it'll make it look a lot better. All right guys, so it is time for coffee table styling, which is one of my favorite parts. I love doing that. So I love that I have the large coffee table again. I'm just literally echoing in my face, but this is a big pot. I got this at our house for Christmas time. It was $69 hairs, and I shared it with you guys in my haul. I'm gonna be placing that on the end of the coffee table here. And then I got these really pretty red branches from Target, and I just went ahead and put them in this glass vase to kind of hold them in place a little bit more. And I'm gonna pop that in the bottom here just so that they have a little bit more structure and they're not like flying everywhere with a large opening. Then we're gonna do our sections again. So I'm gonna add one section probably around here-ish and then one right around here-ish because I want to put some decor here and the decor I want to put there are these trees that I ended up getting so I'm gonna add probably the larger one there and the smaller one is right next to it just something like that and then all of our little accessories we have like a small little candle here this is um, just a match six and then I have a set of coasters and last but not least the little H&M home taper holder that I got I'm just gonna place that right on top I think that adds a really cute touch to that section up the mantle and the lighting's getting a little dark in here I apologize about that you guys but I love the way the mantle looks because the actual Christmas tree is to the right of the mantle I wanted to go ahead and just do some simple styling so I kept my same taper candles from the fall makeover and then I added this really cute little interlocking tree from my shop I love this because I like how one side's birch and then one side's darker so you can kind of pick what you want to see when you kind of lay it out so I think that's really cute and then this is a vintage bowl from Target these iron reindeer are also from my shop I am obsessed with with these they're literally so heavy they're like wrought iron but I feel like they just add such a nice metal look to the space same vase from last time a little wreath from Target there and guys look at these stockings the one on the right this one's from our house then this one here is from my shop which I am obsessed with I think these plush kind of Sherpa ones are so cute and this one here is also from the shop and how adorable is this I had these custom made you guys they're linen stockings and they have a little leather hang tag that says lone fox on them the stocking also 
comes in white linen if you are curious. So those are the two colorways. But I thought it was just a cute addition. And so that is the finished mantle. Um, are you kidding me right now with this little winter wonderland vibe that's happening? This is what I was meaning by once the styling goes in, it's just gonna start coming together. The layout before was a little strange, but I am loving this so far. Claimed wood homes with the glow from the candle behind are just so perfect. I love these so much. I think they're so cute. I also added a little olive tree over here. Sorry about the lighting again. It's getting dark in here. But um, this is the one that Erica recommended that I pick up. And I love it. I mentioned it in an Amazon favorites. I'll link it below for you guys. I like how it's super sparse. And then I actually potted it inside of this really cute pot that I got years back from Rolling Greens in Los Angeles. It's like a black handmade pot. So I think that looks nice. And then just did a little bit of restyling to the top here. Nothing to crazy Christmas candle, couple of wooden homes, and another Christmas candle down there. with a lovely pimple right here in the middle of my nose. Okay, so we are on day two of this little Christmas makeover and the living room, you guys, is just magical. I wanna share with you kind of an overview of it. I normally never share something like this because I'd like to share it and you know the reveal at the end, but I was working in here this morning and just finishing up the video I posted today and the vibes were just absolutely everything, you guys. I am in love with the new orientation of the couches. It just feels so much more open. It feels like you could have a conversation with somebody. It just feels like anywhere that you are, you can kind of see every aspect of the living room, which is so nice as opposed to like having your back, you know, to the fireplace and not being able to see the Christmas tree. So I'm really happy with this. Now, here we have another situation, including this one right here, right here. including Marie. <laughs> This is a lot of the Christmas decor that I have left from my little haul. And basically I just wanna use it to decorate the dining area. We have all of this really cute fall decor. I'll probably keep a majority of what's in here actually and just add to it because I really like the tones in this uh, bookcase here. I have that candelabra there from Target, the paper tree from Ikea, and just a bunch of other random decor. So I wanna add some holiday cheer to the dining room. And I was also thinking about adding a little bit of holiday cheer to the horror movie room. I wanna just give the horror movie room a little update, a little facelift because it has not changed once since I kind of altered it when I first moved in. So I want to give it a little bit of a holiday vibe. I feel like it looks almost cabiny in here in a sense as well with the wood and like the wood framed window. So I think it could be cute to just add a little bit of holiday decor in there. Oh my God, this pumpkin is literally You're lying. Ew! It's Ew, it's leaking! I know, I need help. Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, the pumpkin isn't leaking anymore, but it was. Ew, it like, ew. Ew, it's molded! It's called Gordon Guts. Ew, uh, Gordon. Gord. Oh, Gord. <laughs> When I came to restyling these shelves in my dining room area, I really wanted to keep a lot of the decor that was already there because I truly loved everything Crate and Barrel sent me for the last makeover and it just looks so great in this bookcase. So I just added a couple bits here and there like that mercury glass tree from my shop. I added some new plants to the bases over there, some pine cones to this bowl, a couple of Christmas trees to the bottom and just a few holiday elements to overall enhance the bookcase and just bring in that Christmas vibe. Bookshelf is all styled, just added a bit of Christmassy vibes to there, a couple of trees from the shop, a couple of these bottle brush trees up here, a little deer figurine that I got at Target a couple years back. And I also ended up picking up all of this faux cedar garland. I actually got this at Target as well this year. Now guys, if you go and purchase this, it's from the Studio McGee line. However, it's in boxes, so keep that in mind. Here's like a better look at the actual garland itself. It's really nice quality and it actually looks pretty legit, not gonna lie. It has all these little berries 
stems on it. I actually want to add these right above the archway here. So as you guys can see, the living room is coming along nicely. Uh, super dark at the moment. If you guys happen to see that YouTube short that I did where I created a little garland kind of going across the top of the archway there, I want to recreate it. I originally did it on the opposite side, kind of if you were looking this way into the dining room. However, I want to do it on the dining room side here. So when I photograph into this space, it kind of adds an element, but it also adds just a little bit more Christmas to the dining room area because all we have so far is just this here and I think adding the garland above will be a really nice touch so let's get started with that just gonna use some simple command hooks to add these up on the top of the arch Garland archway looks so cute, exactly what I was thinking, and I actually applied it pretty nicely. I kind of made sure to overlap the center sections a bit. That way it was chunkier here and kind of gradually faded more towards the edges. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. It's hard to show with the windows in the back, but that is the archway garland. I went ahead and I added a little strand of fairy lights to the center shelf there, and I have one other strand. It's just battery operated, but I love the way these look in the back of a shelf. So if you kind of just put it behind all of your decor, just have it kind of just flowing throughout. I think it just adds such a pretty glow. And you can just hide the little box behind your decor and you're pretty much good. So cute, I love the way that that just enhances the bookcase. So I mentioned to you guys that I really wanted to add to the horror movie room as well. And my idea is to actually use the bench in here kind of as like a little display shelf. And I want to create like a little Christmas forest of a ton of different trees. I have all of these ones that I picked up from the Target dollar spot. This large paper one here is from Ikea. And then I also, you guys, have these trees here. These wood ones are, I believe, from Nordstrom Rack. And then these ones are from Target's dollar spot as well. I got these this year. And I'm going to go ahead and spray paint these actually because they're a little bit too gold. I'm gonna go in with that amber spray paint that I've been using on everything lately It's the burnished amber spray paint and give them like a light coat I'm not too sure if I'm gonna do a full-on coat of the spray paint or if I'm just gonna be doing like a little misting of it Here's mr. Candle. Um, he just isn't fitting in the decor this season, but that's okay So we're gonna do spray paint on these mix in these trees We have some other bottle brushes and just create a cute little scenery just on the shelf here in this room And guys, for the dining table, I had to scavenge up my last little bits of decor. I poured in one of those crate and barrel fall potpourris that they sent me, added in some of these dried oranges I made, added the last four silver ornaments from the Home Goods ornaments, and then I added in these little Ikea bottle brush trees, and that is the little centerpiece. I actually think it didn't turn out too bad. I like the pops of red from these faux apples, and yeah, that's, I mean, that's gonna be the centerpiece on the table. Shifting back over to the sofa, you guys, because I have officially finished the apartment for Christmas. I am so, so happy with the outcome of it. I love the new orientation of the living room and I cannot wait for you guys to see these final clips because I think the apartment looks so cute. I love everything that I did. The dining room, the additions to the horror movie room, uh, the stuff I did in here. And I also might just add a little bit to the kitchen in my bedroom over the next couple of days uh, and share with you guys over on Instagram. And if you're not following me over on Instagram, you can definitely do so. It's just Lone Fox Home, same as my TikTok account. But let me go ahead and share with you guys the final apartment reveal. Ah! 